Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 21st, 2020. Well, my goodness, we have an ugly morning shaping up today. We had a little bit of selling that came in on Friday, putting that additional pressure being put on the market. And um, I was cautioning everyone in the Right Way Options group to be careful not to be buying too much heading into the weekend. Um, I didn't know that I was going to be this right um, this morning. So how about we... Um, Settle in, let's grab ourselves something to drink. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So anyone that was in right way options and the discussion we had, I suggested that buying into this weekend might be a little bit difficult. And I wasn't expecting the issues to crop up that did crop up, but was just looking at some uncertainty and that possibility of some trouble. If you guys remember, I, ca I have said multiple times that I suspected that we would test the 50 day moving average in the diamonds before this was over. However, I had no idea, no indication that we would have such an ugly reaction over the weekend. So we're gapping substantially lower this morning. Um, diamonds um, right now, diamond futures are now indicated 540 points lower, gapping substantially down. You can see this is what the candle may look like this morning gapping well below that 50 day moving average in the chart. So unfortunately, what we've got going on here right now is we now officially have, whoops, let me draw that a little bit better. We officially have a head and shoulders top that has been formed on the Dow. We have a break of the trend we have a lower high that is now officially a downtrend in the Dow. Now, of course, we could see buyers step back in. We could see that, that bounce right back in this morning that would push us back up, but that really doesn't change anything. Any, any rally back up toward this resistance line in the chart could be problematic for the market. And also, having created this level of price resistance now, breaking down through there any rally back, which could be you know 500 points, um, rally back up doesn't really change anything here in the market. So pretty grim morning and some technical damage definitely being dealt the market this morning, let alone the psychological uh, damage, the, the confidence of traders in this market will also be shaken pretty hard today. Don't be at all surprised if we start hearing news of margin calls, things like that being created in the market, which could easily accelerate um, some selling today. So as bad as this is, be careful just chasing in with that whole buy the dip mentality. This may not be over this morning. We could see additional selling as people just kind of run for the doors uh, to trying to protect uh, their capital. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Certainly a dismal situation here that is also formed on the SPY. We had tested that 50-day moving average, held it last Thursday, rallying back up. And I know a lot of folks likely thought that was going to be the buy the dip. We had that good, strong um, push off of that level. And I suspect there are quite a few traders that jumped in and maybe over traded this. Um, and they're going to be experiencing some pretty substantial pain this morning. And I hate, I just hate seeing that. I really do. But that's what the market will do to us from time to time. So we have to be very, very focused on the actual technicals and price action, um, not just racing into trades, um, just sure of a bounce back. So now we do have that official um, downtrend here in the SPY. Traders are gonna be pretty well punished this morning um, in that sell-off. Now we could bounce back. Let's notice that we have taken out this morning, we have taken out some support 
And if I pull this right down in here, we have a stronger level of support right in here. So don't be at all surprised once again, if we see some additional selling coming in today, just simply because of the fear um, and things where folks may just sell out of positions and uh, lick their wounds uh, for a day or two. So watch that closely right in here. Now, if we rally, if we rally back up, please keep in mind, we have now created a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart, as well as a downtrend that we have to overcome. So any rally back into here does not change anything in this chart. Pretty damaging technical things going on here in the SPY. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ also faltered on Friday. This had already failed at its 50-day moving average with its rally on Thursday, unable to hold that 50. It had failed that on Friday, and now we are extending that move to the downside. So NASDAQ also officially in a downtrend here in the chart. And if we take a look at some levels of price support, notice that we've broken through that level of price support. That now will become a fairly significant level of resistance um, and along with the downtrend, creating some issues in the chart. We also want to take note that we, having failed this, unless we can turn right around and recover that today or very quickly recover that level, we also have that threat or possibility that we could go ahead and sink down into here um, a little bit. Um, stronger level of price support and if I push that even down to those tails in that chart notice we have a little bit more price level of support right there in that chart so it is possible we could come down into here pretty easily so watch that close and be very very careful chasing in let's take a look at IWM remarkably IWM is holding up as one of the stronger indexes right now Although this um, double top here created a low, a lower high, and so far this morning, this candle would be representing this morning's open, um, is not breaking down through that support. So we have a little price support right in here on IWM and that possibility that this could actually hold that price support and you can kind of pull this back and see this, this is a relatively significant support level in the chart. So let's keep an eye on that IWM may hold. However, one of the problems with IWM this morning, we have to wait and see how the market's going to react to that. There was a leaked document suggesting that several large banks um, had been red flagged for moving suspicious money, um, essentially money laundering, and we're seeing some pressure on those financials this morning. So keep an eye on that. That could certainly affect this. We're also seeing a little bit of pressure in the oil sector. That could also affect IWM uh, this morning. So watch that close. If it happens to break that support level, um, it could be kind of a brutal uh, a brutal sell-off. So watch that closely. The next really strong level of price support would be down in this area. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has been perplexing for some time now, and I suspect we're going to see a pretty substantial fear spike today. So if we take a look at our moving averages, last couple of days we pulled back here in the VIX, even though we saw some selling in the market, the VIX just wasn't moving with it. The VIX just wasn't um, responding to any fear, like as if there wasn't anything to be concerned about. And now we're going to see most likely a pretty substantial spike in the VIX. If that accelerates today, um, it could get kind of painful um, here in the market. So watch that carefully. This will be a hold of that 50 day moving average and a hold of that price support in here around that 25 handle 
on the VIX. So watch that carefully. Now, it's really not going to become a major problem, I think, unless we were to break through that resistance high up here, pushing on up. And that's certainly possible with this gap down this morning. So just hold on. It's going to be kind of a rough, um, rough morning for the market, a rough day for the market. Let's take a look at um, T2122. This is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this might be our biggest hope of a bounce back here today. And that would be T2122 will push us down, will likely push us down into this oversold region in the market where we, um, you know, just uh, everything being pushed down will push us down in could could bank for a pretty ugly morning uh, for sure here. Uh, sorry for the interrupted speech there. And if you um, if you cross your fingers and hope, we might catch a little bit of bounce off of this area in here. But one thing I have to say is emotion can sometimes override technicals in the chart. And if we get that emotional response, if we get that real fear, if all of those folks that kind of rushed in um, last week buying the dip, thinking where we're just going to continue to cruise higher, there could be some additional selling today. And that emotional selling could keep us down here for a day or two. So just kind of keep that in mind. We may not just bounce right off of this this morning. Let's take a look at T2101. And as I've been saying, this has been a concern for me for some time in that T2101 um, showing market breadth on the sell-off, not really able to show much market breadth on the rally. We kept just pushing in very, very um, small groups of stocks trying to push the markets higher. And although we did hold this um, as support, um, largely that was held by some selling. So what's going to be interesting today is to see if that pushes on higher, if that market breadth actually increases and continues to um, to show strength in the sell-off. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. We really don't have much going on on the economic calendar this morning, and we have really nothing of interest in the earnings calendar today. Um, all of the companies are the very small cap. There's very few that have confirmed any kind of um, report. So um, not much there to report on the earnings calendar. What's going to be interesting this week is we just have a parade of Fed speakers. And as you can see, Jerome Powell is on that list three times um this week so 10 a.m eastern time tuesday wednesday and thursday he'll be out talking and we just have like i say a virtual parade of fed speak um i don't know if we're going to learn anything new but certainly if we do that can move the market around quite a bit we'll want to pay attention to that as far as actual reports we don't have a whole lot going on um this week on the economic calendar We've got existing home sales, which can certainly move us around PMI flash. Obviously, jobless claims and new home sales can move us around and then durable goods on Friday. But not the big heavy calendar that we've seen here um, lately. Just lots and lots of Fed speak. And we can expect lots and lots of political drama as well. Part of the reason of this sell-off is the battle royal royale that's being established over the appointment to a Supreme Court justice after the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So um, this is going to shape up to be um, an interesting political uh, battle and could be a distraction. There's already talk of an impeachment things trying to block the president from making an appointment there's uh, they're going to pull everything out of the bag watch this um, pop some popcorn this is going to create quite a bit of market drama um, and could prevent congress from actually getting their work done uh, one of the items which was possibly a uh, secondary stimulus package 
Um, this is going to turn into a big, ugly mess. And as we're heading into the election, that's all we need because we already have the uncertainty of the election ahead. So watch that close. The political battle is going to be interesting. Let's take a look at... Um, at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and i know a video like this morning when the market's like this boy everybody's probably feeling awfully glum um it's one of those days that could easily test the risk tolerance of lots of traders but if you found this video to be helpful if you found the information of this video to be helpful please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment i truly truly appreciate it and and also feel free to share these videos with anyone on social media um, in fact i truly truly appreciate those who do take the time to do that so it's going to be difficult talking about stocks that are setting up today. Um, we have lots of stocks that were in good patterns and um, they started to falter on Friday. As you can see, Berkshire B, I'd mentioned as a possible. And if you look at my drawings on this, I was looking for that possibility that Berkshire would pop out, out on out. Well, this morning, as you can see, Berkshire is going to be turning lower. Now, if we can find buyers in here and push right back up into that support, we should be in good shape for the upside. But some painful, some painful things things um, could come along here. I have also um, Kohl's. I was watching Kohl's here very closely. Kohl's continuing to set up. I think this is a good bullish chart holding in the breaking these downtrends, holding in this uptrend, holding into that nice little test. But we're going to see some pressure on a lot of stocks this morning. So even though there are some good potential buys out there, these could get quickly punish so be really careful chasing in um, watch your stop losses carefully today um, other stocks like nio holding up very very well um, into the weekend um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely today um, some painful things going on. I've been watching this 3M, had a nice little pullback here the last couple of days, and I was watching to see if it was going to hold in this area. And as you can see, pulling back this morning, we're gonna be right at that point where we're testing that trend. Whether or not we can find some energy to buy here, I don't know. Other places that we may want to look for, guys, is we may want to look for a little bit of safety. Um, you might wanna check, check out G. LD. Um, I don't know if gold is going to be able to overcome this move today, but oftentimes when the market sells off, we look for a little bit of relative safety and you may want to check out gold. Gold's pulling back this morning. Futures are down on that. And also silver might be a place to just look for some safety. We've got a pretty good level of price support that is formed in here. And if silver can show some strength, there might be that opportunity that that holds in this area and gives us that opportunity to maybe push on higher but pretty difficult uh, pretty difficult charts to be looking at another place you might want to look for some relative safety or um, good strong dividend pay payers real estate investment trusts um, some of the big guys like uh, coca-cola that just always seem to um, manage their way pretty well um, it's a product that obviously everyone um, is is not likely to go away but uh, pulling back this morning this is one i hold i'm going to get a little bit punished on this this morning and um, that possibility that it could even break on down but this is a good dividend payer and maybe one of those that holds up a little bit better as we might be seeing a rush to some of those dividend paying stocks overall um, last but not least a place you might want to look is a trade that i also hold and it's fcx copper has been doing very very well and you can see it's getting a pullback this morning had a little shooting star price action in there on Friday continue to hold this company um, it's been in a beautiful upside trend the story in copper is good but that may we may be shaking shaking um, the ground in a lot of different stocks today so watch that close 
places that you might look for short trades, you know, um, anything that was a really strong tech um, is now kind of showing some trouble here with lower highs and the potential for lower lows. Keep an eye on stocks like NVIDIA as a possible short. We might look at um, um, other, other big techs in here like uh, Facebook just selling off hard. Um, Google. Netflix. All of these are showing uh, significant pain and we'll want to watch those. They could set up as potential short trades. Now that we're officially in a downtrend, I'll be looking for a lot more short trades as we rally back to price resistance levels. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this is going to be a painful morning for a lot of folks. Remember, it isn't personal. This is business. So make that good business decision. Make sure you're not making emotional decisions this morning. Watch that price action carefully. Be careful not to emotionally jump in thinking this must be the sell-off bottom or the capitulation bottom. It may not be. When we get punished like this, it is not out of the question to see margin calls and things like that start to accelerate the selling to the downside. So stay very, very focused on the price action and be careful just jumping in blindly. I want to wish everyone all the best. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.